We're packing up. We're getting the hell out of Philadelphia. But before we head out of Philadelphia, oh, by the way, it's sunny out now. Oh, yeah. It's nice out today. It is nice out. So what we're doing is we're actually going to stop at this great abandoned location. We're going to film there first, meet a friend named Jessica Zombie. She's a gangster. She's been an OG in the game. Um, you can see her Instagram link down below. After that, we're heading to Virginia Beach, so it's going to be a great day. So by the way, everyone, um, I'm testing out this uh, new feature in my camera. It's a, it's a stabilizer filter in my own camera. It's built in. So I just turned it on, but when I turned it on, it cropped it a little bit, which is normal, so I don't really care. But I'm just testing out to see how it looks. So I might be cropped more than I usually am in all my vlogs. Let me know if it looks smoother or better or anything like that. People are hating in my comments. They're like, why'd I get a Mustang for the road trip? Because <laughs> I like it. She's at, oh, she's at the end right there. I see her. That's her car? Yeah, that's Jessica's car down there. It's almost like we're doing a drug deal. Yeah. Suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Alright, so we're All approaching right. Jessica. She's getting out. Our right, tour guide here. No, 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 so this no, is no, Jessica no. Zombie, guys. Hi. She's part of the day three vlog of our day. <laughs> My day, at least. <laughs> Dude, she has four cameras surrounding her. No, That's awesome. Right. I feel like a celebrity. Yeah. yeah. Well, she has a good history of this place that we're going into. So this place is a former girls' school. Then it became co-ed. And it closed in 92. You'll see calendars around here showing it. Um, there's an abandoned church. There's a school. There's a maternity ward, there's a medical building, there's like seven dorms. Um, the church is personally my favorite. So there's an arcade here in this building. Dude, I can smell the couch through my mask right here. <laughs> that's, that's so nasty. Yeah, there's showers. Oh snap. Man, they're actually hanging out here though. Three pool tables. We have the Miss Pac-Man, which it sucks they just had to leave it here. And the foosball tables. I never seen one this old. What the hell? This Pac-Man was actually um, a pinball Miss Pac-Man. They're actually rare. But they're gone now. It's destroyed. The room. Yeah, I didn't know there was this many games. Damn. Is that all old school games? Nothing, nothing, um... Yeah, dude, the, the Robocop back there. Yeah. Even there. It's a volleyball. Wilson. Wilson. It's like a dorm. I like this dorm though. It's like the arcades in the basement. They're hanging out. They, have, they must have fun here. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. <laughs> we found a drug bust. <laughs> So in this room it's just filled with a bunch of kids' report cards. Which is pretty interesting. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give any information or anything, I'm just showing you guys. Thought it was cool. Some of the kids' dorm rooms. It's the bed. They had a nice small room. Yeah, you're right, you're right, they blocked it. That's really weird. Look at that, oh snap, you're right, look at it. There's the, there's the, like the light switch, you would flick it. So it was a room. Oh, there's a light switch in there? Yeah, there's a light switch in there. So this, this is like a small little room and they blocked it, barricaded it or something. Because look at, on this side, there's no, yeah, see? There's no door. So this building has the main classrooms and home act. Got a little roughed up, but this is it. Oh, they still have the desks. Not only do they have the desks still, but we have chairs stabbed against the walls. Assuming teenagers did it. 
some great chalkboards. I'm just going to sit in the teacher's desk. So this is the teacher's view of the students. It's like some freaking like demonic stuff right now going on. People stabbing chairs through the walls. <laughs> oh, the music room. Oh snap, this is all caving in down here. Pretty soon every building here is going to look like this. In that tower right there, someone actually climbed up to the top and jumped down and committed suicide. Everyone's in the back there cooking up that food. This is where you would grab the food. And you're going to walk up here, because that's where they're all sitting. Whoa! They designed it like a restaurant, yeah, like a, like a McDonald's. There's even more. And the thing is, you wouldn't expect all this to be here, judging by the model of the outside of the houses and how they look. So everyone, this is by far the most destroyed gym I've ever seen in my life. Even worse than the one I went to in Chernobyl. I like it. <laughs> the graffiti actually makes this place look cooler. All the floorboards here are just ripped up. I'm going through tons of buildings, just filming, you know, every bits and parts of each building and just putting it all into one great video. And we're not even finished. This is just the start of our day today. We still have a lot to do. We still got to drive to Virginia later. Woo! Even survival crackers. So if you open these up right now, you can literally still eat these crackers right now. They're not bad. For some reason, this looks like such a spooky window. Yeah, we love exploring chapels and churches, so this place is cool. Look at this. This is what I like to see. This is my kind of stuff. <laughs> Everybody snapping pictures. I'm in their shots. <laughs> um. <laughs> this is our last building. Yeah. And it could even be the best building. This is the medical building. Here's the room. Oh, the waiting room? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, look at those crutches. Oh, there's needles everywhere. Oh, snap. Oh. Yeah, a bunch of needles are here. Man, look what we just found. Looks like to be sample tubes or something. We got so much other medical equipment here. Pill bottles, band-aids. An emergency oxygen supply. Candles on it. Look, that's a body bag, right? Look at the zipper. I think that is a body bag. I've never seen a body bag before. That's insane. What the hell? <laughs> that's for dead people. I never feel I never seen a body bag before either. I've never seen it. But I assume that's what it is, because it's got six handles for you to carry it. Yeah. Oh my god. This is like a crutch. And oh. all the crutches are over there too. Whoa. Dental office. Does he... Oh, dude, yes! We found the dental office. <laughs> I've never seen a dental office that's abandoned yet. You so have cool. it? And I don't yeah. think... 
If I did, um, I didn't recognize it. This is our first dental office. Yeah. It's all the equipment, too. Damn. Yeah, you got the little light right here. Here we go with the... You got the tray that they put all the stuff on. Something biohazard is in this jar right now. It's a deadly disease. It might be, let's hope not. So we're on the second floor of this building, and we're going to be in the maternity ward now. All this devil crap. All the prescription bottles are here. The biohazard bags. All the baby cribs. Cradles. Strollers. Oh my god! I can't believe the cradles, the, the crib's still here. What? What the hell? That is crazy. John, did you see this room? Come here. You see that? Dude, look at that baby over there. Holy shit. All right, so that was cool. We just got done today uh, exploring, but now we still have some more stuff to do. We gotta go to Virginia Beach now, but before we go to Virginia Beach, we gotta dispose our clothes full of probably asbestos, maybe some mold, I don't know, whatever. You made it. Gotta dispose it. All right, so a lot of you wonder, like, everyone always tell me about the asbestos and always worrying about me and all that stuff. So I'm telling you, we take uh, great, great precaution. Well, we take as much precaution as we can for our health. Um, first of all, we wear our mask, which is a P100 filter. And after we get out of the abandoned place, as soon as we get out, we get to the car. We don't even drive yet. We actually change into new clothes and then take all the old clothes and put them into this bag and then seal it tight. So we're not sitting in the car. We're not just breathing in our, um, you know, we're not going to breathe in the asbestos that was on our clothes. The only thing left is asbestos in our hair. Other than that, it never goes in the car and it's always inside that bag. Because for all you people who do explore, what you don't know is you're breathing it in, it sticks to your clothes, you can't see it, and it's just horrible. So there's always been this uh, true fan, you know, always been supporting us, always been, um, you know, giving us shout outs, always watching our videos, always talking to us. So we came across her and, you know, it would have made her day if we would have met her. So we wanted to make her day. So we stopped over here to see her really quick. <laughs> Why are you shaking? Is, are, you, are you sick? No. <laughs> Move. Wait, wait, what's happening? <laughs> Koshi, what is going on? I'm having a fangirl attack. Fangirl. Yo, guys, on the real. Prepare for takeoff. <laughs> To get off their darkest ground The gravity pulls you straight down Earth from a bird's eye view You should grow feathers and see this too My God! After five hours of driving, oh, after, after me. his <laughs> uh, his three hours of driving and his two hours of driving, 
We finally got to our hotel. We are chilling in VA Beach right now, everybody. Tomorrow's gonna be a good day. It sucks because it's already midnight. I still have to edit my vlog and it's gonna go up for like 10 a.m. So I'm probably gonna sleep in a little bit late for tomorrow. But at least the vlog's up. <laughs>